and welcome to round two of the Parenting Roundabout podcast. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Say hi, Catherine. Hi, Terry. Usually on this podcast, we talk about parenting issues, but once a week, Catherine and I like to get together to discuss TV, movies, books, and other entertainment topics, because it's nice to talk about something other than parenting for a change. This week, we chatted about the latest episode in our Good Place Watch, but first, Dancing with the Stars. We're going to talk about seniors and juniors, but let's start with seniors. So it was Disney night on Dancing with the Stars, as it is every season, it seems. Gotta get that Disney in. And there was a special gift from Mickey at the end of the show, in that uh, despite putting two couples into jeopardy and playing the dramatic music, nobody went home, which seems slightly mean. I'm going to tell myself, as I have in similar situations, that they knew. Those people knew they were That they were told ahead of time nobody was going home. They were pretty relieved. (laughs) They just had to act up, up nervous and relieved. Because otherwise... It's kind of a jerk move. What I the know. heck? And when they announced who the two that were in Jeopardy, which were Alexis and Demarcus, I was like, you have got yes. to be kidding me. Put Joe yes. in there. He got half the points of everybody else. <laughs> that, And you just know every every time in this, this when it comes to this part of the show, Joe's going, please, you just please, as, please, us, please. as we at home are, <laughs> yes, are chanting the name of the person we want to, you know, we want to go, he's going... Oh. Me, 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 me. And every week he is disappointed. Poor Joe. He was marginally better this week. That was not a terrible dance. It wasn't terrible, but I thought for a jive it was slow. Yes. And also Carrie Ann said, you did not miss a step. And (laughs) I really don't think so. I mean, I know I'm not a good judge of this stuff and I don't know what the steps are but I I saw times when he wasn't in sync with Jenna isn't that no insane? well that's for sure <laughs> well he, he got he did all the steps he just necessarily didn't necessarily do them in the right time <laughs> <laughs> well it seemed to me like what she did which is pretty clever if you have somebody with his skill level is she just said just do this thing where you kick your feet out on either side just do that just keep doing that it'll look like you're dancing right. and and he just did that same step pretty much through the entire thing and he has nice long legs he looked in a nice smile and he looked good doing it but it's like this is not really so much of a dance as a controlled fidget but right. you know jenna you're working with what you got i guess you can't blame you for that uh-huh. I just, you know, I've heard people say, and Jenna was saying this too, that this is what the show's about, you know, somebody with right. no dancing effort journey. and the growth and the journey. And it's like, that's what we have Bobby for. And he is in it 150%. Mm-hmm. We have no journey and no growth here is the problem. Right. We have somebody who looks like, please, please let me go home. That is not what the show is about. And it's not, Uh if you're going to be that guy, if you're going to be that, I've never danced before in my life and I stink at it, but I am going to give it everything I got. That's fun to watch. Watching somebody who's like, this was a bad idea pretty much from week one. Not so much. I know I see people online who still think he's he's just what this show is about. And I just don't get it because, you know, I'm not seeing... I'm not having fun with Joe. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm on and a I'm on a I dancing think, death march with Joe, basically. Yes, and I think um, speaking of people who are growing, I think John got so yes. much better yes. this week. I mean, he did a quick step. He did like the hardest one. Mm-hmm. It seemed to have far more quick step content. To yes, use the show's terminology definitely than other things he's done. And he did it. And he, he did. did. It well. Yes. I Stamina, was really man. Impressed. Yes. I thought that was his best one. He looked very good. Far. My my husband occasionally wanders through the room when I'm watching this show, especially if it's somebody who he recognizes. And he stood mm-hmm. and he watched all that dance and when it was over he said, He did pretty good. Yeah. Which is usually not what happens. High <laughs> praise. <laughs> that is that is Straight tens from my husband because he's really right. well. That was dumb, or he didn't really dance, or who is that, or <laughs> what's with that guy's hair? Right. So he felt that Sasha maybe hit the moose a little hard this week, but 
Um, yeah, I, I definitely yeah, thought that was that the was, best John has done. So. Nicely done. And yes. uh, I, uh, I, I, all the dances were relatively enjoyable. I had to laugh mm-hmm. at the at the sudden and painfully blatant attempt to showmance Alan and Alexis. <laughs> yes. Just out of the blue. Any feelings for Alan? Wait, yeah. what? Where? <laughs> Why? This poor girl. Is yeah. she not getting no the fair. votes? So we now have to throw this in. I mean, they're adorable and they're they're a cute couple and God bless them. But this does not seem organic. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> When they when they throw it in in the package and then the judges mention it, you know something is fishy. Now this show does have one certified showman's of people who did go on to get married and have babies in Kim and Robert, and God bless them. But um, you know this this is yeah pretty bogus seeming. Even if yes. it's genuine, it's it's even more bogus seeming than the one on So You Think You Can Dance that we just enjoyed, which was clearly. How can we make these two kids interesting? I know. Right. <laughs> but, uh, and let's see, who else? Um, um, I really liked Milo and Whitney, the quick step. That was the yes. final dance, like, especially the very last pass where they're all, they're, like, surrounded by the troop. Yes. And they, like, bust out, and then suddenly they're doing, like, Double time quick Right, step. right. And props to Milo for agreeing to put on that outfit. I don't know if yeah. there's a lot of 17-year-olds who would say sure, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did a good job. Yeah, that was quite something. But uh, lots of use of the troop in this episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots and lots of faffing about. You know, yes. it seems like... Are we dancing or are we reenacting episodes from movies? Mm-hmm. I thought that, I mean, while the, the Beauty and the Beast number was certainly entertaining and, and Juan Pablo got his guest on on very well, there was a lot of acting in that. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, less I, dancing than seems appropriate given what high praise they received. Right. My notes are like, when he was actually waltzing, he, yes. was, he looked good, but... <laughs> There was a yeah. lot of not waltzing yeah. happening. Yes. The show in general had a lot of faffing about. It's just, mm-hmm. It seemed like a dance, and then Jordan's going to sing, and then this, and then we're doing this, and then we're doing that. Yeah, um, I skipped all okay. that stuff. Yes. Oh. Well, I did like the fact, I, I do like the fact that they are including the junior pros so much. I don't know if that's mm-hmm. going to be a thing going forward, or it's just because it's concurrent with the junior season. I think they should use those kids Mm-hmm. going for because it. it's really fun they did a number of of things where they had adult dancers and kid dancers doing stuff together they had one where they were the adults were doing a waltz and then the kids were doing a waltz right next to them and then they ended by switching partners it was very sweet mm-hmm. and i i think that's great i think that's like a whole new resource they've got and they should use those kids right. and uh jason the thing i thought was weird yeah. is that they they also had you know a couple of the celeb this you know yes. the, kid, the junior stars like yes. jason Yuri, well they had exclusively say. jason and ariana that's right. who they had and they had them like in all different disney costumes not mm-hmm. just the ones that they wore yeah. the day before <laughs> I'm like wait jason's not hercules that's supposed to be akash like i, <laughs> I right. feel cheated <laughs> yes and when they had the they the, the junior pros did a dance and most of them were wearing the costume they had worn the night before but i guess maybe some of them were the troop members so they didn't have a costume from the night before so there was one of them dressed up as aladdin and i'm like that's not where where's miles right that's that not, was yeah miles. so that was confusing um but i i had i mean jason's agent should get a bonus for how many times <laughs> that kid popped up on the tv screen yeah he got a lot of screen time yeah somebody was wondering on the the chat i was in why he and ariana were the only two and was it because they were the winners or something and i think it's because both of them are on disney channel shows mm, that may yeah. be the secret they may be under contract to disney to do their mm-hmm, bidding to wherever do that kind of thing. Right. <laughs> so but uh I, I could see Jason becoming part of the Dancing with the Stars family as Rashad has been. They'll keep him 
in in the same storeroom and under Alfonso. the stage floor. <laughs> and Alfonso, yes. And Jordan, I guess. Jordan got a lot of FaceTime too. Frankie yeah. is somewhere fuming, but um <laughs> You know, it was it, it was an it was an entertaining show altogether. Whether it was a particularly good episode of Dancing with the Stars, I don't know. Right. And right. the fact that we had no elimination this week probably means two eliminations next week. Uh-huh. So prepare for that, y'all. Which you know, if they get it right, it's fine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is true. Yeah, it's starting to get down to the point where I mean, there's a couple of people I would be fine with seeing go, and after that, it's going to get painful. And I think the couple of people I would be fine with are not going to be the couple of people that go. So yeah. uh, it was interesting. I shared with you a, a post by Kristen Burt, I think it is, who does uh, blogs about all these dancing shows. And she talked about how they vote on the Dancing with the Stars Junior. You know, they have an audience vote at the end. And they all get to vote for one person and one yeah. person only, which is just, I can't even imagine how that works. But it, it works in conjunction with the judges' scores. Because there's a bunch of kids I think are wonderful and I want to have around, but they would not get my one vote. And yet they stay. So mm-hmm. I don't know. But they she suggested that for Dancing with the Stars, you know, a number of people were upset that Tanache went home last week and had all sorts of conspiracy theories. And she's saying, if there's somebody that you want to stay, you should give them all your votes. You should not split your votes up. You should say, if I only had one vote, this is the person I would vote for. And then give them your 13 or 26 or whatever, however Mm -hmm. many votes you have. So I think I'm going to start to do that. And I think my person, even though I don't really expect he'll get to the end, but the beneficiary of my big pile of votes is going to be Bobby. Just because Sharn is due, and I think she's doing a good job with him. And I think he's serious about it, even though he's a goof. Uh He's, he, he, you know, he can rein in his ADHD or whatever it is and at least try to be serious. Uh He was trying hard in that waltz. It was not a particularly good waltz, but it was, I think they, the judges said it was, it was full of effort, which is not necessarily, doesn't sound good, but in his case, I appreciate the trying hard, Mm -hmm. you know, I appreciate the not just falling back on a joke. Uh, And uh, so for as long as he can hang in there, he's going to have my support, even though there's other people that I like and probably are more deserving. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, I'll go with the journey. I'll play the journey card. (laughs) <laughs> the journey and growth. The one that Jenna tried to. The one that Jenna tried to play for to Joe, Joe. But no, 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 no. Just not going to work for you, Jenna. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Who are you backing at this time? Can you narrow it down to one person or are you... Uh, Ooh, it's hard. Um, it's hard because I like... Um, I like Milo. I like Demarcus. Yes. Um, I also want to vote for and support... At least one woman. <laughs> yeah, I mean Ivana. I uh, yeah, I like her. I yeah, like, but her her dance. I was like, oh, that was cute. That was fun, but not mm, memorable. Yeah, um, mo- most memorable to me because my daughter has skated to that song before. <laughs> so, which on yeah. Disney night is not a surprise. Um, but you know, like Mary Lou's, that was not only it was contemporary and it was. Barefoot oh, was... and actual rolling on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so. you know, it's probably not a good thing that the most memorable moment of that for me was that flip Sasha did mm-hmm. over her. Mm-hmm. That was impressive. I had to rewind that and watch it again. Right. Because my husband heard me whoop, and so he came out, and he looked, and he was not impressed. But still, that was the most exciting part of the dance, which is probably not what you want. No. So, and just, she just had, you know, poured on the emotional stuff, and it's like, you know. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Everybody's got everybody's got a story, Mary Lou. Right, but um, you know, yeah, she, I have I have no objection to her staying, but I'm not invested in her staying. Uh-huh. So um, I don't. I, it's hard to know exactly who's going to pull this off. There's the the fan bases this time are. I don't know what kind of fi- fan base Milo has. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Or Ivana. I mean, she's got the Harry Potter, but I don't know how hugely she's associated with it. Right. I don't know how much Mary Lou has this this late in the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of people who remember her affectionately, but whether it's enough to override somebody they really like, right? Uh, there's still there's still a lot of people in the mix. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, we shall see. Yeah. Next week may be painful, right. but you know what? They get another week on TV. So there you go. That's what they're in it for, presumably. Right. So 
Good for them. And moving along to the junior version of the Mirror Ball show, we watched on Sunday night the fourth episode of Dancing with the Stars Juniors, third episode. I think it was only the third The third one. episode. The one mm-hmm. on which there seemed to be fewer kids. So I guess they've eliminated three. Yes, because which... it was two and then one. Yeah. I find so. this show really delightful. I really, really enjoy watching it. And I think they're doing a whole bunch of things right, especially the judging. But, oh my goodness, they've got to rethink ending with crying children. Because yeah. as much fun as it is all the way through, what you're left with is Sophia Pippen crying in, just in somebody's arms. And that's nobody wants to see that. No. They got, they got to figure that part out. They got to find a better way to do either, either keep everybody all season and then just give somebody a prize or, you know, give the verdict away from the ballroom and then have a pre-recorded segment of them saying how happy they were to have been on the show. Something. Yeah. Please, no crying children. I like the idea of just keep them all and do a prize at the end. And maybe you start with two fewer couples or something so that you can fit everybody you absolutely could give prizes at the end and you would not have crying children the the ones who didn't get the top three would not be weeping but you eliminate somebody especially like so quickly is a big build up oh you're gone that was that was particularly painful this time i thought right so ugh. i mean she was she was sort of victimized by number one going first and by number two how do you give a kid a dance, a girl, a dance based on The Little Mermaid and have her be Ursula? What <laughs> the heck? Right. There is no way. I mean, you could probably get away with it with one of the really little, little, little girls. I mean, Ariana could probably pull that off. But you mm-hmm. have this beautiful young lady and she's supposed to be playing the ugly witch. No, 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 no. That right. was very unfair. That was not a pleasant dance to watch. And she was clearly uncomfortable with it. And then she yeah. went home because of it. Boo, right. boo, boo. That, write yeah. that down in your column of things we need to do better next time. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I wasn't necessarily sorry to see her go because she wasn't one of my favorites, but I was sorry to see her go like that. And I was sorry that she was so sad. Yeah. That, I mean, and she's so like shy and timid yes. that and they made a big point giving, of it that she's so shy and timid i know so don't give her a dance where she has to play a character that's so huge yes. and over the top yes you know like, there that was just she, yeah if they had given her beauty and the beast or right. something where she you know like even honey boo boo did a decent job right. because they didn't give her much to do exactly. she just had to kind of walk around yeah and she managed to do it fairly well. Yeah. Maybe what they need to do if they're going to do the eliminations, since this was pre-recorded, is announce the person who's going home. Give them time to get through the emotions of that moment. And don't use that footage. What, who, mm-hmm. who edited this thing and thought we right. wanted to see multiple shots of her crying? Right. I Just the more I think yeah. about it, the more annoyed I get. But yes. there was so, so very much to like. Yeah, I mean, so many of the other dances were just really cute and fun to watch and strong. I mean, like, uh, ones that stood out to me, Miles mm-hmm. doing Aladdin. Yes, um, adorable. And Sky doing <gasps> Moana. I loved that. You know how I feel about Barefoot Contemporary. That may be my favorite Barefoot Contemporary dance ever. Yeah. Right there. That was that Even was better good. than, I think, the Simone Biles dance to the same I liked Sky better. That was an mm-hmm. adorable, adorable routine. Both of them did fantastic. And she's so spunky. And she's, she is, Love and she's her. not a dancer, but she's dancing, man. She's she's doing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So I just adore her. They they're great. And of course, cute little Akash. Yes. You know, Adam said that he just was joyful, and I mm-hmm. agreed. Like, he's yes, just. I liked Mandla and the, the Coco Mariachi. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm more for the the little little kids than the big kids. I think. Well, the, right. Though Miles is the exception, since, since although he's old, he's short. So he <laughs> you can pretend he's younger side. than he is. But, yeah. um, I mean, Akash and Jason are just getting by on adorable spunkiness, and I'm fine yes. with that. I would right. like them to stay as long as they possibly can. Just writing on that because they make me smile. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. amongst the littles, 
Ariana and Sky are really dancing, and they're yeah. very good. They really yeah. are. So I am now. Last week we decided that we needed coming out of this a buddy comedy with Akash and Jason. I want Sky and Ariana now to be in it too. I think the four of them, <laughs> friends, junior. Right. They meet at a they meet at a juice bar, <laughs> and uh, you know, hang out at one of their apartments. I, I, you know, ABC, make it happen. You got four mm-hmm. personalities there. Let's go. Absolutely. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. But Ariana, please be scripted. Don't make them like the, <laughs> the real junior housewives or no, whatever. No, no, like, no, 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 no. A scripted buddy comedy sitcom. Right. Uh, you know, immediately, please. Mm-hmm. And not on not on ABC Family where I'll forget it's there. But uh, Ariana's <laughs> dance was also very good. And she was early, so it was easy to forget. But she was mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah. And uh, even though I don't approve of... of Children doing the samba. Still, that was a cute number. Uh, yeah, they made it work. Yeah, and I, you know, the the we already talked about the first one was first dance was was the Ursula Sophia. dance, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then the second yeah. one was Mackenzie doing contemporary, which yeah, I I mean, the whole way they've been framing this is well, yeah, she's a dancer, but she's a contemporary dancer, and ballroom right. is different, ballroom. so it's okay. <laughs> so week three, she gets contemporary. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. So I was feeling all grumpy about why are they doing contemporary on this show? Can we just have a show that's just ballroom? And right. then Sky and JT came out and did that. And I'm like, okay, they can do contemporary. <laughs> They're <else>. allowed. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, they, I mean, theoretically, she could just go and win this whole thing. And I would not be happy with that, Mackenzie. I have nothing against her. She seems like a lovely young lady. But it, it's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally you know, agree. Yeah, usually, I mean, I, I feel less concerned about ringers on the the seniors because they're fun to watch and mm-hmm. it's enjoyable. And there's usually more than one of them in any given season. And, and it's not kids. But right. th- this is like, you know, you got nine-year-olds learning how to do dances. And that's incredibly cool. And that's what you should be highlighting. Not kids who have been dancing their entire lives and maybe we challenge them a little bit right that's those are the pros <laughs> that's mm-hmm. what you have the pros for is so that we can see kids who've been dancing their entire life right. learning how to partner and learning you know somebody who has not danced before so right yeah but uh i i had a lot of fun with this and i still c- continue to really enjoy the judges uh, Val seems to be settling into his role as Len because he's always the one who's like given. Well, a couple of times he had a higher score than the other two, and a couple but he of times does he had like lower. To bring the, he does bring the grumpiness whenever he can. He does, but it was so funny. A couple of times he had a higher score than the other two, and he gave the two of them a look that almost said, "Oh crud! Did I get the wrong paddle?" <laughs> right. dark, dark, did you dark. guys? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to have an eight. Oh man. Yeah. Come on, Val, it's not that hard. <laughs> you you have a lot of time on your well, no, this was recorded before. I was gonna say you have a lot of time on your hands. It's right, been Val, eliminated. You've been eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Rest up, buddy. But now this was recorded long ago. Yeah. Anyway, fun show. And yes. I'm really enjoying the the youngest ones and hope they stick around for a while. But mm-hmm. uh you know, I they they showed uh, Sophia's dad in the audience after she was eliminated, and he had a big smile on his face, which is either A, yeah, support your daughter, be happy with her for what she's accomplished, or B, thank goodness I don't have to come to this anymore. Or, like, I'm really mad right now, but I'm putting on this <laughs> smile because I, I know I have to. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Probably some combination of B and C, I think. But, I mean, she looked so uncomfortable during her dance. You had to be like, put her, let her go. (laughs) Yes, yes. But she could, I mean, they could have done a, Disney week, there should have been a lovely dance for her to do. There's lots and lots of princesses to choose from. Put her in a princess outfit. Give her pretty hair. You know, let her do some nice little pirouettes. You don't make her Ursula. Come on. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) Whoever whoever is responsible for that needs to not work on this show next next year, right. season. We interrupt this podcast to remind you to please consider the free Radio Public app for all your parenting roundabout listening needs. If you listen to our podcast on the app, we'll get paid a little for each listen and more if you listen a lot. 
It's a great way to financially support our podcast without having to actually spend, you know, money. Now back to the episode. So now we move on to a new episode of The Good Place, or it was a new episode last Thursday when we watched it. When you're listening to this, not so new, but this is the way it goes. <laughs> so <laughs> you've already been talking about Chidi's abs all weekend, and now we're finally going to mention, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> They, uh, how long have they been wanting to find an excuse to take off that guy's shirt? I would like to know. I got to think the entire female Three casting seasons. crew were going. You know, he's it's it's warm there in the fake good place. Couldn't he take his shirt off? Maybe he wants to go swimming. Exactly. William Jackson I mean, Harper, salute to you, man. He he had to get like chased by bees. He had to have like his face stuck full of needles. Yes. <laughs> Like all of a sudden we get, oh look, it's it's hot it's hot nihilist cheaty. <laughs> That's right. Oh my goodness. You know, walking Eating around chili. <laughs> <laughs> that was just such an adorable meltdown. The way yes. this guy melts down is he makes chili with peeps. And M and M's. And M and M's. Oh While goodness. Wearing and a he takes women's- <laughs> Like novelty <laughs> lavender t-shirt. That is very, very tight. Yes. Ah, uh, it is so not funny. Not cut for his muscles that we've just now learned. <laughs> that he no has. idea. Yeah. Wow. Alan Alan Sepinwall was arguing on Twitter that you know not only does he not have time to be he's so busy agonizing over every decision in his life that he would not have time to go to the gym. But imagine all the all the when he's doing his crunches, all the things he's thinking that he should be doing that would be better. That it's just not it's just not believable that he would look right. like that. But then uh, we'll link to uh, somebody in response to that made an ethical examination of his of his physique and to see right. if it was if it was defensible on an ethical level and found that in like two or three cases, yes, it was. In general, in it general, was. it was depending <laughs> on which which uh, uh, system of ethics you were applying. Right. So but you could just see him at the gym, like, you know, is should I do legs or arms? <laughs> and should I do this machine or that machine? Should I do how much weight? Like, should I do this much or that much? Should I do yes? How many pounds did I do yesterday? Like, it would just be yes. <laughs> it would be constant. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to imagine how that worked out exactly, but uh, man. That was that was distracting. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this episode in general, when thinking about it afterwards, my feeling was, wow, I'm looking forward to the start of this season. This seems like it'll be a really good season. It's like every episode. It's... Yeah. It's okay, like... Okay, so this is what starting. we're going to do now. Okay, right. sure. Yeah. So okay. it's like, you guys... Let me know when you decide what you're going to do. <laughs> I'll just start watching that. This seems like a good setup. But then but this one was the much... first week seemed like a good setup. And the second week seemed like it had promise. Right. And now this. Okay. But I, I did enjoy this one more than the, the previous one. Um, I did. But I would probably have enjoyed it even more if it was like the second episode. Or the first. Because it uh, just seems like it's, you know, that episode where they like... Like rebooted them eight hundred times, yeah. But they did it all in one episode. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're doing this every week now. <laughs> so it's yeah. like we're gonna have eight hundred episodes of nope, done with that one. That didn't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is really the beginning, and they're gonna go on from here. Mm-hmm. Although there is certainly no assurance of that, at right? All. But mm-hmm. uh, and we still it's 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 so funny. I'd read this in. Alan Seppin will mention this in his review too, and I imagine it was true of everybody watching it that we completely forgot about Tahani's fiance until oh, yeah. he walked in. <laughs> it's like Larry Hemsworth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy. Hi. Whoopsies. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, presumably some <laughs> This will do wonders for his inferiority. Absolutely. Complex. Oh, I I married this other guy just because I wanted to give him my money. Sorry, honey. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that that was a great ending for the episode. It's like, <laughs> Welp, how do we start now? We've already yeah. ruined somebody's life here. 
Um, <laughs> and somewhere Simone is hearing disturbing accounts of her boyfriend's behavior. I know. They did not show Simone at all. Yeah. I still... So... I, I, had, I had this theory after the first episode that she was really like a spy for the judge or something like that, that she wasn't really the face value human she appeared to be. And that, that mm-hmm. appears to probably be way wrong on my part. But I'm still, I don't know, it would not surprise me if she turned out to be something other than what she seemed. Well, but probably not. Probably she will be involved in their work somehow. And yeah, I'm not I sure mean, how. You know, you can't put anything past this show. You really cannot. Show, you really so cannot. I'll just have to wait and see. Yes, yes. But, uh... It was fun. It's always fun, and it's always funny, and it's always enjoyable. And I also like listening to the podcast and yes. uh, having things, you know, pointed out to me that were funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, this one just it had some good lines, like just Jason, you know, like <laughs> handing money to an infant in a stroller or saying to the violinist, you know, now you can get a bigger chin yeah. guitar. <laughs> it's just <laughs> such a dope. So dopey. Meanwhile, Tahani is giving. Well, as they say, the smartest, dumbest. That's show. right. Exactly. Like, that's exactly. Totally true. And then you had Tahani giving money out. Are you poor? Here, have some right. money in her, in her ball gown that she's wearing. Right. Oh, <laughs> she is. They are all in their own way. So fun. Yes. And fun together. And mm-hmm. poor Michael just getting increasingly desperate. <laughs> we kill them. We'll just we kill, kill them. them and then we I'll go back through the door and then we and catch then we... them. <laughs> right. Uh. Uh, and I thought Darcy Carden had some yes. great just reactions <laughs> and, and lines in this one. You know, when she finds out that... Jason and Tani have gotten married, just like her terrible attempt <gasps> to cover up her response. <laughs> it's like oh, there's so, so many fun. threads in this thing that you, you know, you're watching Tani and Jason doing their thing. And, oh, isn't that great? And that's fine. And then you were, oh, Janet. Uh-oh. Right. So, so many things going on. And mm-hmm. uh, I I think we need to add to your list of things that are excruciating. You have uh, watching somebody play a video game. Watching yes. somebody hunt and peck would go on that list also. <laughs> I so yeah. felt for Janet watching him and then make mistakes. Yes, even though he was he was so thrilled by the process. Yeah. She had to take over immediately. Yes, yes. And then, then she sounded like you sound when you're typing. <laughs> over the podcast. That's just what my hands look like too when I type. Uh, well interested to see where it goes from here hope it goes from here for more than one episode (laughs) (laughs) i mean there's gonna be a loophole somewhere i feel fairly certain maybe it will be the looping nature of time in the in the bad place maybe it will be the dot on the eye but somehow there will be a loophole (laughs) but in the meantime it will be fun watching them do whatever it is they do it was right. nice seeing Eleanor having changed a little bit in spite of herself and mm-hmm. not be able to take the money. Yes. And that was interesting. In the, the podcast, we got some insight on oh, yeah. <laughs> so a deleted scene <laughs> that it, it's true because when it, in the the way it was cut, yes. she said something about like, I I did something nice for a... A man and his very untalented yeah, daughter. Yeah, like, well, that's a little rough to say about a kid, <laughs> right. but yeah. But... And then we find out later, we found out in the podcast, <laughs> the daughter who drew the picture that looked like it was drawn by a seven-year-old was actually like 16. Yeah. <laughs> and so that was the joke. Right. But they had to cover yeah. it, so. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> this is why you got to listen to the podcast. That's right. Guys. Yes. And maybe watch the extended cuts. When they come out, because apparently there was a lot mm-hmm. cut from this one. Yeah. So. Well, I will look forward to that. Yes. And I will. Watching it again. Yes. And look forward to next week and seeing where they go from here and for how long they mm-hmm. go. So next week, we will watch that next episode of The Good Place and talk about it the following Tuesday. And we will also get back to our West Wing watch. We took a week off because the West Wing Weekly Podcast is lazy and occasionally just doesn't do things. And so we accommodate them. <laughs> 
because we're just that nice. So we will be watching the West Wing episode, Talking Points, which has been my next one I was looking forward to because it introduces the character of Kate Harper, played by Mary McCormick. I don't remember how much she's in this one or the next few, but she becomes a a regular character. But for now, I will be happy to see her. That was my next landmark Mm -hmm. in season five. And we will also, of course, watch Dancing with the Stars and Dancing with the Stars Juniors. And we beg you, you got a week, editors, you got a little time. If there are crying children at the end of your episode, don't show them. Nobody wants to see that. That is going to be it for our round two today. Please subscribe to our Parenting Roundabout podcast so you won't miss any of our episodes, including our daily speed rounds and weekly group chats. As always, you can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. Goodbye, Catherine. Bye, Terry. Goodbye, everybody.